I have come here tonight to speak frankly and directly to the men and women who sent us here. I know that for many Americans watching right now, the state of our economy is a concern that rises above all others. The impact of this recession is real, and it is everywhere. Good evening, and happy Mardi Gras. I'm Bobby Jindal, governor of Louisiana. You know, a few weeks ago, the president warned that our country is facing a crisis that he said, in quotes, we may not be able to reverse. You know, our troubles are real, to be sure. But don't let anyone tell you that we cannot recover. Don't let anyone tell you that America's best days are behind her. But while our economy may be weakened and our confidence shaken, though we are living through difficult and uncertain times, tonight I want every American to know this. We will rebuild, we will recover, and the United States of America will emerge stronger than before. The weight of this crisis will not determine the destiny of this nation. The answers to our problems don't lie beyond our reach. And $140 million for something called volcano monitoring. Instead of monitoring volcanoes, what Congress should be monitoring is the eruption of spending in Washington, D.C. Today in Washington, some are promising that government will rescue us from the economic storms raging all around us. Those of us who lived through Hurricane Katrina we have our doubts. The strength of America is not found in our government. To solve our current problems, Washington must lead. In a time of crisis, we cannot afford to govern out of anger or yield to the politics of the moment. My job, our job, is to solve the problem. Republicans want to work with President Obama. We appreciate his message of hope, but sometimes seems like we look for hope in different places. And our economy will recover. Now is no time to dismantle the defenses that have protected this country for hundreds of years, or to make deep cuts in funding for our troops. To relieve the strain on our forces, my budget increases the number of our soldiers and Marines. And to keep our sacred trust with those who serve. We will raise their pay and give our veterans the expanded health care and benefits that they have earned. Democratic leaders in Washington, they place their hope in the federal government. To solve our current problems, Washington must lead. My budget does not attempt to solve every problem or address every issue. It reflects the stark reality of what we've inherited a trillion dollar deficit, a financial crisis, and a costly recession. I reject the view that says our problems will simply take care of themselves. It says government has no role in laying the foundation for our common prosperity. For history tells a different story. History reminds us that at every moment of economic upheaval and transformation, this nation has responded with bold action and big ideas. To solve our current problems, Washington must lead. You elected Republicans to champion limited government, fiscal discipline, and personal responsibility. Instead, Republicans went along with earmarks and big government spending in Washington. Republicans lost your trust, and rightly so. And we will put Americans to work, making our homes and buildings more efficient so that we can save billions of dollars on our energy bills. We are committed to the goal of a retooled, reimagined auto industry that can compete and win. Millions of jobs depend on it, scores of communities depend on it, and I believe the nation that invented the automobile cannot walk away from it. Our party is determined to regain your trust. Already, we've done more to advance the cause of health care reform in the last 30 days than we've done in the last decade. But whatever the training may be, every American will need to get more than a high school diploma. And dropping out of high school is no longer an option. It's not just quitting on yourself, it's quitting on your country. And this country needs and values the talents of every American. 
By 2020, America will once again have the highest proportion of college graduates in the world. That is a goal we can meet. Republicans lost your trust, and rightly so. If you are willing to volunteer in your neighborhood, or give back to your community, or serve your country, we will make sure that you can afford a higher education. If your family earns less than $250,000 a year, a quarter million dollars a year, you will not see your taxes increased a single dime. I repeat, not one single dime. In fact, the recovery plan provides a tax cut. That's right, a tax cut for 95% of working families. And by the way, these checks are on the way. Finally, because we're also suffering from a deficit of trust, I am committed to restoring a sense of honesty and accountability to our budget. That is why this budget looks ahead 10 years and accounts for spending that was left out under the old rules. And for the first time, that includes the full cost of fighting in Iraq and Afghanistan. For seven years, we've been a nation at war. No longer will we hide its price. Republicans lost your trust, and rightly so. The world depends on us having a strong economy, just as our economy depends on the strength of the world's. We will strengthen old alliances, forge new ones, and use all elements of our national power. Look, I know that we haven't agreed on every issue thus far. <laughs> they tell us that even in the most trying times, amid the most difficult circumstances. There is a generosity, a resilience, a decency, and a determination that perseveres. A willingness to take responsibility for our future and for posterity. Their resolve must be our inspiration. Their concerns must be our cause. And we must show them and all our people that we are equal to the task before us. I know Our party is determined to regain your trust. If we come together and lift this nation from the depths of this crisis, if we put our people back to work and restart the engine of our prosperity, if we confront without fear the challenges of our time and summon that enduring spirit of an America that does not quit, then someday, years from now, our children can tell their children that this was the time when we performed. In the words that are carved into this very chamber, something worthy to be remembered. Thank you. God bless you. And may God bless the United States of America. Thank you. Republicans lost your trust, and rightly so. Thank you for listening. God bless you. God bless Louisiana. And God bless America.